Let's make some, what is this? Maybe sausage. Let's make some Tuscan pasta sausage. So sausage pasta, some sausage pasta. Hey y'all, welcome back to Cooking with Crystal. Today we are making this Tuscan sausage pasta. Uh, we're using some baby spinach and um, bringing in some basil, chicken broth, some half and half, sun-dried tomatoes, and some Italian sausage, and then some Parmesan cheese, and um, also some gluten-free pasta. I did not put over there, but I'm getting the pan hot and ready, and um, then we're gonna start by browning up the sausage. This part, y'all, for me, it's just very not appealing to me to squeeze out sausage from a tube. I mean, come on, it just really isn't, but it's really delicious. So anyway, I wanted to like speed things up here because I knew it takes a long time to brown sausage and no one ever shows the process of like how long it takes, um, but I'm just speeding through it. Um, and for me, I really love my sausage like extra crispy and then like little bits. So I like to really like pulverize it, you know, and chop it up into little bitty pieces and then to let it just sit and simmer and get a little bit caramelized on the little edges get crispy you know what I'm saying so I'm turning on the stove we're gonna fill up a pot of water um, and put it back on the stove <laughs> and we're gonna um, get that ready to boil our pasta And I am just continuing to uh, cut up the sausage as it cooks and just keep letting it get nice and crispy. Alright, so yeah, here's the little bit of G-free. Hi TikTok, this is Carrie. You're actually talking to YouTube right now. Hi YouTube, this is Carrie. Dude. Just bothering everyone. Um, anyway, I got that from Aldi's. And they have some pretty awesome gluten-free stuff at Aldi's. So I definitely recommend it. And it's not terribly expensive compared to like the other brands that you could get at the major stores. Um, so I'm salting the water too on the pasta because you always salt your pasta water even with gluten-free. So, oh, and a little tip for you. Whenever you're cooking gluten-free noodles, so what I do is I boil my noodles a little bit less than what the package directions say, maybe about a minute and it just keeps them from getting really mushy and then if you're cooking them or putting them in a sauce you know they can stay a little bit al dente so they can cook in the sauce so the meat's done it's got that nice crust on it that i was looking for and i'm just going to drain it in a paper towel so that way the pasta doesn't end up being super super greasy that just helps for, from making it a little too grease balmy if you know what I mean so the, the water is almost boiling we're almost ready to put the noodles in uh, now we're gonna make the sauce we're gonna take some chicken broth and I believe it was about a half a cup of chicken broth that I'm putting in there now I think next time I'm gonna do a little bit more chicken broth and a little less cream um, okay and then here I'm also adding in I believe it's like a cup of half and half and the recipe that I used called for cream but I just prefer half and half because it cuts the calories a little bit now you add your noodles to the water that's been boiling and another tip for you I usually like don't keep it boiling I usually put the temperature of the stove down a little bit to like medium high heat which still allows the pasta to cook but um, it doesn't boil over which is really great that's the only thing I found so you're gonna take some onion powder Italian seasoning and then garlic salt I didn't have garlic powder so I just used garlic salt um, and I like the flavor of garlic salt better and you just can not have to worry about adding salt you know um, and you can never have too much garlic so in that mixture of the cream and chicken stock, you're just 
adding all those seasonings together and I'm just eyeballing it, you know? Um, and then on top of that, you're going to add about a cup Oops. of Parmesan cheese to the mix and you can use the fancy stuff. I just used the cheap stuff, you know, and it still tasted amazing. So if you want to go fancy and get like the actual Parmesan cheese that you grate yourself, by all means do that. Um, I'm sure it would taste even better, but you know, we're just not trying to be extra here for now. And so you stir the sauce until it thickens and um, once it's like thickened and you can see that the sauce is kind of like coming up from the bottom then you can add your spinach and then the sun-dried tomatoes and I added about like two big handfuls of it and then I just kind of eyeballed the sun-dried tomatoes too um, of however many you want in there some people like more some people like less and then I threaded up the basil by hand I didn't chop it up I just you know figured um, we can do like a drop this thing in it a rough and ready type of I don't know, situation <laughs> um okay. but once your sauce looks like that it's done and you can add your sausage back in and then mix it all up together I the charger and plug my phone and it's literally about to die it's over uh, on the chair yeah. Now once that's all incorporated, you can start adding your pasta into the mix. So I just scooped up the pasta straight out of the water and threw it in there. And like I said, it's a hair al dente, so it'll cook a little bit more in the sauce because no one likes a mushy noodle. Y'all, that looks so amazing. And I just kind of splashed a little bit of the pasta water in there and it still works like regular pasta water um it, you know it thickens up the sauce just a little bit or makes it a little bit more you know saucy you know what i mean and this it needed a little bit more garlic salt i thought so i sprinkled a little bit more in there and then i added some black pepper just for good measure we like black pepper in this house i mixed it all together to incorporate it and then a little taste. It was delicious and yummy. Oh, look at that. Mm. I'm sad we don't have any leftovers anymore. All right, and um, you don't have to uh, put it in a fancy bowl, but I decided to do that because, you know, I guess since I wasn't extra on the Parmesan cheese, it had to be extra on putting it in a fancy bowl for dinner. I don't know. You can just serve it straight out of the pan, to be honest. But wow, y'all, when I tell you this was incredible, like, it was so, so good. Mm -hmm. So I just added a little bit of um, extra basil on top, and then a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese to top it off. And there you have it, your final product. Yum. <laughs> Let's try it. I get that perfect bite. Oh wow. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Pretty simple meal. It took about 30 minutes to make from start to finish. We used gluten-free noodles this time and I added some basil and garlic salt. The recipe doesn't call for that, but um, I wanted to, you know, spice it up a little bit. You don't need it, but it definitely helps. This is really, really good. Thanks for watching.